So here I am at my local Myers, and it looks like they actually got a good stock of Hot Wheels in. I'm guessing this is D-Case. Yep, D-Case, so this would have been the Super Treasure Hunt right here. I'm guessing since this was on the front of the pegs, it's probably been picked over, but this is the Lotus Avija. Quick glance here, there's another one there, so probably a dud 72 pound case. And obviously what would be a hunt video without me dropping cars, but yep, back on the pegs. Looking at the rest here, not seeing anything. Honda Super Cup, got the Snoopy car. RX-7 in green. I know people usually like to pick this up just because the color combination looks pretty good. One of my favorites from last year, the Pagani's on the R. I do have a couple of this recolor, but not as heavily collected as that first edition in the matte black. Got the Matt and Debbie Hayes, Street Thunderbird, a couple of other cars, but what I'm looking for, guys, is the Godzilla Skyline R32. I think that started in the E case, so probably out of luck here with this D case drop. But just to give you guys an idea of what I'm seeing here, transports pretty empty. Got a whole ton of these 100th anniversary Disney cars, but not super interested. So moving over here, jump into the matchbox, and something I never noticed before there is a Honda in here. It looks like it's one of their EV cars. Kind of cool, haven't checked out Matchbox thoroughly in a while. Here is the 918 Spider in yellow. I know this one's pretty popular with the Matchbox collectors. And hey, look at that. My One of my latest shorts, I had this Nissan truck with this matching trailer hitch that has a pretty cool motorcycle on it. So I'll put these two side by side just so that folks know that they go together. Just rounding itself for a matchbox. Nothing too interesting. This looks pretty cool. 720 McLaren and Spider. Got a couple of the 70th anniversary cars as well, too. This one is the Dodge Charger. It actually looks pretty good in this color combo. This might be on the maybe list for sure. Got a whole bunch of moving parts here. Looks like they got the Pagani Huayra Roadster. Got the Mercedes Benz. Kind of your typical peg warmers. Ford Ranger, and then a whole slew of Disney cars. Jumping over here to some round two product. You got some green lights, and they definitely loaded up from the last time I was here, but as always, looks like it's picked over. But Greenies, just looking for the green. Is that one? Nope, I think that's just regular painted Ford Explorer in green. So nothing there. Got Kings of Crunch. I think this is the same box that I found the Bigfoot Chase. Some hitch and tow, some trailer action down here for JL, but quick glance, I'm not seeing any of the white lightnings. Harley Davidson, okay cars. This is new, I haven't seen this yet, but Import Heat GT, got a 350Z, as well as a Mazda ARC 7. I do like the color scheme, but again, I'm not a huge Johnny Lightning collector. I mean, maybe if it was a white lightning, but. I think we can safely leave those in the pegs. This one, it actually got me for a second. I thought it was white lightning, but no bottom base in all white, so it's definitely not a white lightning. And I think it might even have tire lettering if it was a, a white lightning, but just taking a look at the cars in the back. You got a Corvette, a Firebird, no chase. Look at these Auto Worlds here, these look pretty fresh. This is actually a pretty old series. You got the Dodge Stealth, got a square body. I'm surprised this hasn't been picked up yet. And ooh, I see something good in the back. Reminiscent when I found that Supra Raw about a year ago now, but that's pretty cool. I actually don't have this one. This is the new casting first edition with no spoiler on the back in white. I think it came in a red recolor as well too. So this one is definitely coming home with me just to add to the AW Super Collection. So I thought I'd stop by my local Kroger and Dollar 18 Hot Wheels. Today is the loading day and check that out. Right off the bat we got Godzilla. So this is my first time seeing this car in person. It's been crazy guys. This car has been all the buzz and just unable to acquire one for myself but it looks great. We are working with DKs here, so 
These cards, they look pretty fresh. This would have been a super right here, the Lotus Avenja. So hopefully, well, actually, nope, it's gotta be a dud because there's two of them already. So I'm guessing someone went through, dumped the case, or maybe a stalker dumped the case. And they all look pretty fresh. I mean, the cards look pretty good and nothing looks super picked over. But we got one skyline. Let's see if we can find some other skylines here. We got the BMW 507. This is a new cast for 2023. Looks pretty good. Oh, I do see the Cadillac Seville. So I know this car first time we've seen it in the main line it has been seen in premium especially the gucci car i think that's where it's got its fame from but cool to see that in person we got the recolor of the uh, toyota van pretty period correct color scheme going on there oh look at that honda civic ef in red haven't seen this one yet in person it's just been a crazy pickup to find everybody's been snatching them off the peg so glad to add this one be interested to see if there's any other godzillas definitely want a little stash of that got the remake nevera bone shaker got the tv batmobile the dragon corvette Looks like they got the latest spring cars as well too. We got the Ford Mustang convertible. Just double checking what cars are in this set. So there is a Volkswagen Caddy, Camaro, a 52 Chevy, Jeep Wrangler. This Corvette looks pretty good. I do like this color scheme. Civic, so not too bad. So I'm guessing no super. We'll take a look at these spring cars. If we can get a full set, I might pick one up. But yeah, definitely check out your local Kroger's. They seem to be stocking up pretty regularly right now. On to the next store. So last stop on the way home, hit my target. Gotta check out the aisles and absolutely nothing here. All dug through. Let's just double check what case. E case. So, fortunately, we got that Godzilla over at Kroger's, so we don't have to stress out so much. But I'm sure I miss Godzilla and the Civics here as well, too. Just doing a quick check on the 20 packs. One thing I've been really looking for is I've seen some folks actually be able to pull the godzilla from the 20 pack and yes i'm continuing to drop stuff not quite the godzilla but there is a civic in this 20 pack but kind of weighing out the pros and cons here i don't think it's worth 20 bucks just for the civic granted we just found one over at kroger's actually a couple at kroger's but if there was a godzilla in here i might take that just as a long-term hold because i think that would be cool to have such a sought after mainline in the 20 pack quick look at the nine packs here this one's not bad i mean you get the gold s15 the 300 zx in yellow as well too but they all look to be pretty much the same it'd be cool to find the godzilla in this nine pack as well too so if anybody has one let me know i'd be interested jumping over here and i know you guys saw that but i got the fast and furious set these are starting to just hang on the pegs now you know they were such a hot commodity for that Supra and pretty much that Supra alone but now the new hotness is this guy and it's actually the first time I've seen this too but this is the Nissan 5 pack you got the Nissan Fairlady Z you got an S13 the Hako the R32 the Leno Lamely group just posted up a picture of this it does look pretty cool with that little black stripe down the hood there and then a 620 kind of an old school cast that everybody seemed to forget about but i'm still a big fan of the 620 but this is definitely coming home with me and there's plenty of these fast and nefarious five packs to go around i mean there's one two three so fast and nefarious is probably not super popular 
anymore from a five pack standpoint at least but i actually don't have one this is actually my first time seeing these as well too so i will have to take one of those coming over here ultra hot and look at this like i said in my ultra hot video where i purchased 10 ultra hots from target.com my stores are still sitting on the 2022 release you can see that mix right there and this is the barracuda i actually have this one at home but it's crazy we've been getting mixes from 2022 all the way through series three for 2023 and they just line the pegs now this store actually got rid of their their little sidekick display as well too so ultra hots again it's kind of a crap shoot right now but i mean if you can find it in store great if not target.com not a bad option just like myers they definitely did load up on the jls and the green lights as well too but as always i'm late and they look picked over not seeing the ultra reds or no ultra raws i'm pretty sure that super that i found last year was a once in a lifetime deal not seeing the white tires here either some auto worlds kind of tucked behind this jl here green lights looking for those green wheels or green base no such luck so i think that'll be it guys let's get home and just review what we got so that's the haul from the day super happy super excited a good day of hunting full of skylines and supras literally i don't think i've had this successful of a hunt in quite some time and i know you guys are looking at this and thinking it's so minimal but for me a guy with barely any time to do anything other than my job and take care of my family i mean this is a super success for me sometimes you just have to revel in the little things in life but just quickly to review everything here you got this fast and furious two pack right now secondary market sitting at about ten dollars the nissan two pack right now it's sitting at about 15 we've seen this before guys popular five packs they're very sought after when they're released but they'll eventually taper down so these will eventually go back down to no more than five to seven dollars on the secondary market soon enough then you got the godzilla skyline r32 in hand just an awesome piece currently secondary market price sitting at about five dollars but for this car in particular it's not about the money it's really just something that i've been looking forward to adding into my collection as i'm sure a lot of the collectors are then you got this red honda civic ef with the giant civic logo down here i really wanted it so that i could compare it to the original first edition ef in red and there's clearly differences but it's just pretty cool how they're bringing it back as a rewind just so that the collectors can get another chance at it if they did not get one from 2014. This Auto World Supra was definitely a pleasant surprise. So this was a mix that I had missed last year when it originally released the first edition Toyota Supra. This one is the one without the spoiler and I know there is a 2023 release here with the Euro style hood and a giant license plate up front which i think really throws off the cast overall so that one i'm probably not going to be pursuing but super happy to have this clean version i've always wanted a very clean white or green toyota super mark IV in real life so this one really hits home for me and last but not least i have this little mattel box showing up at my doorstep when i got home I'm going to do a quick opening just to show you what it is. You can probably guess. Wait a minute. What's this? Autostrasse Volvo. Just kidding, guys. I knew this was going to be in the box. I did not expect it to have such a large crease. They really jammed it into the box. But you guys know what happened with this pink R34 release. You had to put something else from the Mattel Creations website in your cart before they would let you get the r34 added into your cart that's the process i did to get the one r34 that i was able to get out of my five accounts but definitely worth it because this thing just looks gorgeous better believe i'm gonna have a deeper review on the r34 to this point the premium version from rlc and convention and this pink one is definitely going to be a focal point so stay tuned like and subscribe guys and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars